currently between 16 to 49 million Americans have dry eyes. We're talking about 5 to 15 percent of the population. So today we're going to look into dry eye syndrome. What causes it and ways to alleviate this condition. Joining me today are Anne Marie Quinville. She is vice president of iMed Pharma and also Dr. April Jasper, doctor of optometry. Welcome to both of you. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, doctor, let me start with you. This is obviously not, you know, just scratching your eye, a little itch, there's pollen in the air. This is something a little bit more serious, if you will, and can really affect someone's quality of life? Absolutely. You know, it's, it's amazing to me that we have come through a time period of life where people used to think dry eye was only about the older women, my age. Mm -hmm. And now what we know is the reality is it affects so many and the symptoms are varied. So the problem of dry eye, one of the problems, is that people have no idea that's what they're experiencing until they come into the office. But I will tell you, it is the number one reason people make appointments at our office. Look at that. So what exactly is it and what causes it? What's happening in the eye? The tear film is the problem. And so what happens is the eye secretes, you have a gland in the upper lid that secretes the watery layer of the tears. The tears has three layers. And so the watery layer is secreted. Sometimes there's a problem there, but most often the problem is that the glands in the upper and lower lid that secrete lipid, that's the outer layer of the tears, they're either not functioning right or something that we're doing is stopping that lipid layer from being as effective as it should be. Okay, so Anne-Marie, let me bring you in. When I hear about this, my first thought is it's just happening to people of our age, right? But no, it's people of all ages. All ages. And you know, Olga, we're seeing more and more people, younger people, uh, kids, uh, teens, there's more screen time. So they're not blinking enough. You're supposed to blink often and you're not blinking enough. You're being fixated by these screens. But we're also seeing a lot of people, of environmental factors, uh, air conditioning, heating, uh, smoking, and also um, alcohol. And these children, these teenagers, again, younger people than we thought, they're experiencing the same symptoms as well? Absolutely. They're rubbing their eye, not knowing, you know, why they're rubbing their eye, you know, and they're, they're getting tired. They're not, they're, they're having blurred vision. There you go. And right. it affects them with their reading. Doctor, Doctor how is this diagnosed? The first thing we want to do when patients come in, somebody on my team will ask them about their symptoms. We want to know what exactly are you experiencing? Then we want to know what those risk factors are. You heard some of them just now. But there are some risk factors patients have no idea are related, such as medications that they're taking. Look at that. So it could be something they're doing. It could be some medicine that they have to take. It doesn't mean we're going to stop what they're doing. I can't make people change their jobs and stop being on Zoom. But we want to know what's going on so we can help them manage it. The other thing, though, we do next is we look at those eyelids when they're in the exam room. We want to know, is it the lipid layer that truly is the problem? And then we use a fluorescein dye to evaluate the front surface of the eye to see if there's damage that's already been done and to help us to grade the severity of their dry eye disease so we know then what treatments we want to move forward with. So once a diagnosis is made, Anne-Marie, what options do people have? There's quite a few options out there. Uh, for one, you have a lubricating drop. Uh, we offer the Eye Drop MGD. It's a unique preservative-free drop. Um, it is absolutely instantaneous. You put the drop in, you feel relief. It's wonderful. Like Dr. Jasper was telling us, you know, the lipid layer, it gets evaporated. And this is helping it put back in. So every time you blink, it, you coat your cornea and it's a wonderful feeling. You have to try it. And Marie, if someone were to use this, is there maybe a combination with something else that could even help improve the situation? iMed Pharma offers drops, wipes, a mask, omegas, but also there's a treatment option. It's called EI, and it's an intense regulated pulse light. And what that does is it helps uh, the glands function a lot better. Okay, doctor, how is it used? Uh, how many drops a day? How many days a week? I think patients would love to know that there's one way to use a drop, and the reality is it depends on the severity of their disease. Most patients, one or two drops a day at least. Some patients, it's four or five. The good news is when you have a non-preserved drop like this is, it keeps us from having any fear about telling you that you need to use it even more than that if necessary. Feedback from patients, what are you hearing? Patients are excited to finally have something available that's specific for their type of dry eye. 
And so knowing that you have something that the doctor has said is right for you and your problems makes a big difference to them. I was reading here, Anne-Marie, that on the website of iMed, uh, you actually have a dry eye test, which I think is very helpful because, like you said, people are walking around not knowing if they have this uh, diagnosis. What is this and how does it help somebody kind of fill in the blanks, if you will? Yeah, so when you visit our website, you're able to fill in a, a test. It's a survey. And this test will be able to tell you, do you have moderate, do you have severe, do you have evaporative? Oh God, there's 86% of dry eye sufferers suffer from evaporative dry eye. And that's why you need a lipid in your, your drop. I'm looking at the package here and I see it's made by iMed Pharma, obviously. Uh, been around for a while. Yeah, we've been around for over 30 years, actually. Uh, we're a family run business and we innovate and we do a lot of research and development. And what that means is we come out with the cutting edge products on the market. So this is very unique as opposed to doctor those drops that you see over the counter. So many times patients just go to whatever has the prettiest box. Not that iMed doesn't have a pretty box. <laughs> However, the challenge is it may not be what's right for exactly. them. Exactly. And that's so important to know what type of dry eye do I have? How bad is it? What treatments are available? And the doctors really need and we do tell them exactly what products are right for them. That's fantastic. Doctor, kind of to wrap it up, I'm sure you just know hundreds of patients, but anyone that comes to mind that just after using eye drop just thought, my gosh, thank you, my life has just changed. And so the great news is for patients that have come in, I can tell you there was one that was really struggling just to get through the day. And with eye drop, what she was able to find was that she could use the drop, she could maintain her great appearance, as well as make sure that she could see and actually do the things she needed to do. That's fantastic. For our viewers who'd like more information, Anne-Marie, where can they go? imedpharma.com, and you can see the difference. There you go, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate your time, thank you. Thanks for having us. And if you'd like more information, go to our website, thebalancingact.com.